Good morning. It is Monday morning. I didn't video anything yesterday, um, but I did on Saturday, so you'll be seeing that. Um, anyways, I thought I'd take you guys along today. We were going to get the garden finished, but it is pouring rain. You can't really tell right now. It's kind of let up, but um, I'm going to run to town. I've got to go pick something up at the store and then come back home. I think we are going to do tortellini soup for dinner and I'm thinking about making no yeast dinner rolls to go with that. So um, I think that'll be dinner. We just did leftover waffles and stuff for breakfast and I don't have a clue on lunch right now what we're gonna do for lunch. Maybe just leftovers. We have pulled pork leftovers from yesterday so that'll probably actually be lunch. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get the garden done so I didn't plan on doing school today. Um, and then it's raining and I don't know that it's gonna let up. So, if the kids want to play in the mud, we may garden in the rain because it's now almost June. My garden is still not all the way in between a late freeze and all this rain we've had for almost two weeks. So, I'll ask the kids if they want to garden in the rain and play in the mud while I garden in the rain, we may do that. And if they want to stay inside, what we may end up doing is I may finish reading them the long winter because we did take um, about three weeks school break a few months ago and then we took another month and so we still haven't finished that uh, yeah so we may finish that today and I'm trying to think of what we would do I don't really feel like getting out Legos um, A puzzle puzzle would be fun maybe we'll do like a thousand piece puzzle or a couple of 500 piece puzzles and finish the long winter and just do that today I'll see what the kids want to do but my road is gonna close at the end of today and I've got to go pick up some medication and I also want to get a bag of frozen spinach to throw in the soup and so I'm gonna run to town I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get back and talk to the kids Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down. I'm in 
gonna combine my flour with my baking powder and my salt, kind of give that a mix. And then I'll add my mayonnaise and my milk to make these no yeast dinner rolls. I will include the recipe in the description box below in case you wanna try these yourself. I actually have quite um, a few, I think three or four bricks of yeast in my freezer, but I just thought I would try these out because you never know when you go to the store anymore if you're going to necessarily find the ingredients you meet you need to make the meal you want to make or to stock up for things and i just thought hey we'll try these out in case in the future i can't find yeast and see if we like them so um i think they were pretty good and they were pretty easy to make but i think they were more of like a mix between a biscuit and a roll as far as the texture but they were really good and the kids did eat a ton of them anyways after getting the dough mixed up i i divided my dough into 12 um circles and now i'm just kind of rounding them out making them a little bit smoother and putting them into greased um muffin tins i'm going to bake them for about 15 minutes or until they're golden brown and then i'll pull them out and I'll probably go ahead and rub some butter on the top and then put them back in for a few minutes. Just because we usually like our rolls with butter on the top. So while I'm finished getting these ready now, I'm gonna get them in the oven and like I said, bake them and then go outside and play with the kids. Now that my um, tortellini is fully cooked and my soup is ready. I went ahead and added just about a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese to my soup. I also added a splash of milk. I'm going to stir it until it's combined and the cheese has a chance to melt and then I'll get this served up to the kids. I just wanted to take a second to tell you thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so that you can check out some other videos after this one as well as some upcoming videos. And that, as always, I would love to chat with you guys in the comments below. But anyways, let's get back to dinner. These are my finished rolls. And like I said, the texture was somewhere between a roll and a biscuit. And they were really good. And we would definitely make them again if we needed to. So here is our finished dinner. I just added some shaky cheese on top of everybody's. And we're ready to eat. I absolutely love making soups for dinner because I can throw just about any veggies together and have a healthy filling and delicious dinner for the kids without putting a ton of work into dinner that night so anyways i hope that you guys might be inspired by tonight's dinner and if you do um try something out like this let me know and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another new video bye